going to share with you another journal that I've made and this one is um, I would say it's kind of shabby vintage <clears throat> um, I've used all oh, various different things in this journal uh, different kits different ephemera packs uh, the cover here is um, <clears throat> some paper from Artie Mays and that's from her Jane Austen collection and I printed that out onto cardstock um, I have a laser printer so this isn't going to fade um, there is a little bit of lace here and I've done a like a card basically to pop on the front of that and um, we've got a double layer of card thickness here which um, and then this journal card has been sewn onto it <clears throat> There is um, three layers of hearts here and the back layer has actually got some um, lacy fabric stuck down to it. Then you have got this green piece here, like a light green, and then this heart here and there's cheesecloth and just a little bit of satin ribbon here. Um, the word memories. <clears throat> the journal measures uh, eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. There is 92 pages front and back and this will be listed in my shop if anyone's interested. So we've got some eyelets and then this string as a closure. And let's see if I can get inside it without making a big knot. Ta -da. So, <clears throat> just making sure I'm in frame. So I've used some digital papers from um, <clears throat> Digital Magpie and that's like the main pages in, in this just got a tab here that's a stamping up tab again that's a discontinued one <clears throat> um, here we have excuse me <clears throat> we have a tag and I stamped this book belongs to and there's some stenciling there tags have been um, coffee dyed and this is um, a journal card with some uh, like a crocheted fabric uh, and this is from my porch prints <clears throat> I always struggle to remember that <laughs> uh, so that's popped in well actually this is a Terry Woods flip out so you've seen me do this loads and Terry is linked below as well if you want to go over and check out her journals and her tutorials on how to do these and here we just have a doily and a fabric butterfly so we have that there uh, this is from Artie Mays this is part of her ephemera kit it's pretty new on her shop and Artie Mays will be linked below this is uh, from Dreams etc we have a doily here, some edge punching, a paper bag, some Edith Holden. This is an envelope and I can't remember where I got this from but it was on Etsy. And you get the journal card to match it. So there's two of these in the journal. They're very shabby. <clears throat> um, ever so pretty. So you have one of them. And that's paper clipped on there. And then this journal card, which is upside down. Um, little cherubs there that's there and this is from the old design shop it's just been coffee dyed so that's just tucked in there and we have squared paper some crochet a crocheted tab this is from digital magpie here we have a glassine bag which has been coffee dyed and I've just put a little bit of pom-pom trim on there. I use this image. Um, I think this is from the graphics fairy. Um, although I have got images that have been um, from Artie Mays and Tsunami Rose but they've kind of been altered. <clears throat> but this was just the plain image. And we have another one of these from um, My Porch Prints. It's been printed onto cardstock. And then here we have a large tag to move that so I can get that back in and the glassine bag is opened at the back as well so you can pop something inside there we have another doily some edge punching I'm gonna show a lot of people keep asking me this and I I keep forgetting the name of it I have asked 
on the chat group, the Junk Journal Junkies chat group, and I've been told the name of this over and over, and I can't remember it now, but this is the Martha Stewart punch. It is discontinued, but you do find sometimes on eBay, um, you get people selling these, but this is what it looks like. <clears throat> so that's the punch that I use. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, here I've just made um, a layered uh, tab, tab, ticket, not ticket, a, a banner, um, <laughs> and it's got some lace fabric in the background. These are from Artie Mays, I've got a double layer of butterflies here. This is a punch again from Martha, Martha Stewart, and I take it it's just called the butterfly punch. You'd think, wouldn't you? <clears throat> some bling. Um, here we have some old design shop. This is from Artie Mays and is this tag as well. That's been backed onto some cardstock and then just inked up. A little bit of eyelash trim there. Again, digital magpie, um, an altered Edith Holden. Uh, book page, made that into a pocket, large tag, opened at the back as well and obviously you can put your tag in there. It's got some layering and then this image here, a doily, some more of the edge punching, paper bag, another tab on there. This is from the old design shop. Here we just have a little triple fold out, it's been corner punched, it's been stamped. This is from I think the graphics fairy. Another crocheted tab, centre of the signature, lots of places to journal. Um, another one of these, another postcard from the old design shop, or no, the graphics fairy I think. It's one or the other. <clears throat> Some Edith Holden, the other side of the paper bag. Here we have a glassine bag. And I've just put some crochet to trim. This is all been coffee dyed. Then you've just got some cheesecloth. Which I need to fiddle with that a little bit. Cheesecloth, a little bit of um, crocheted fabric and a little fabric flower. A large tag. We have this from uh, Dreams Etc. Artie Mays. And My Porch Prints. We have another tag, some ephemera, the old design shop, and this is in French. Just paper clipped on. Another one of these um, banners. <clears throat> Again, just with the butterflies, some bling, and the crochet fabric in the background there. Another doily, another Edith Holden pocket with the tag. Again, that's open so you can tuck things inside there. Another tab. Here we have another one of those envelopes with a journal card and this is from the old design shop. And in this envelope there's a journal card to match that as well, like the other one. Some Edith Holden, paper bag, doily, and this is one of the flip outs. Again, that's inspired by Terry Woods, so that opens up <clears throat> like so. And you can do lots of journaling on that and then fold it all back up and hide it. <clears throat> This is from Artie Mays, a Tiffany & Co stamp, and uh, I've been asked as well, that is from the, is it the San Francisco Stamp Company, um, you can get that. Some more ephemera from Artie Mays, and this is from My Porch Prints. And again we've got the butterfly and the doily to decorate that, and that is the back page. It's coffee stained there. So that's the journal. Um, nice and chunky, lots of room to journal. 
Um, like I said, this will be for sale and everybody's links will be below as well. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.